is the Sam's on the Case with AZ Billiards and brought to you by PoolDog.com. Joining me today is the man that needs no introduction, Earl the Pearl Strickland. Thank you, Earl. Thanks a lot. Glad to be here. We're going to well, play with a Mike Galassi cue. Uh, that's who I represent. And this is my playing cue with two shafts. And then I have the brake stick here, which is a, it's pretty standard brake stick. It's much like a playing cue. It's don't have all the phenolic and all that. And then I got a jump stick here, which is, uh, I didn't have a jump shot tonight. You've never really been a big advocate for that. Well, I, you know, I think it hurts the game. It takes away from the more skilled players. And uh, it's harder to beat me without a jump stick. I, that's what I believe. But, you know, if the shot comes up and I need to win a crucial game, I better have it out there. I'll kick most of the time, but uh, I need it for the crucial situations. Is it more you can't beat them, join them? No, I'll never do that entirely, I don't think. I think the cue should be a ban from professional pool, and that's my belief, and I'll stand with it. But like I said, I I can use the cue as well as them. Don't worry about it, you know. It's just I don't like it. Now, I notice you only have a, a very small cue case that carries only your playing cue, <laughs> and you usually walk around with your jump cue well, and your brake cue. Is that for weight? Mike just gave me the brake stick oh, and the jump okay. stick here, so I didn't get a case for it. I got a case of the room. I'm going to put that in. Okay, so normally but you I normally just carry this little Robin Hood thing around. It's nice and easy. Looks like I got a uh, some uh, blueprints in there or something, <laughs> or a, or a portrait or something, right? So uh, okay. it's nice and easy, and you can just carry it around. I, easy for sure. You're a pretty simple guy. You don't have a lot of stuff. You've got your towel. But what we would like to ask you about is these. How many pounds is each individual weight? Well, it's, each one is two and a half pounds. That's ten pounds right there. So. And then when I break, I put an extra one on. I think it helps my break. It helps me stay steady. When you're breaking, you need to stay real still through the swing. When you swing the stick, your upper body and your arm and everything needs to stay steady. And that's the key to hitting the ball solid and getting a good solid break. And at one point, you were wearing them on your uh, waist, yeah, too. Yeah, I put them all over me eventually. <laughs> but uh, actually, I'm doing good right now. I Physically, I feel good. I don't need them anywhere else. I put them on my feet sometimes. So I don't float away, not just joking. But right now they're just on my arm. If I feel I need them somewhere else, I'll do it. So. Excellent. What do you think of the uh, rack your own? Um, I don't like okay. it. I I would rather rack for the other guy. But I think I still think they needed one day they got to get refs to rack the balls. It's it's the only way to play, and they got to rack the balls real quick. I don't like the guys slow racking me. I don't like that. So you rack the balls pretty quick when you. Break. I want the balls racked quickly. You know, but I don't care. The other guy racks, he racks slow, so it slows me down too. You know, they say I'm racking my own. I can rack them as fast as I want. That's not what it is. The other guy slows down. I want both guys racking the same speed. So that's the way I want to play pool. All right, and shot. there's nothing wrong with that. It's only fair. Shot clock on the racking. A shot clock on the game too. 20 seconds to shoot is what I think it should be. But I, some, you should, what I believe in is you have four timeouts. And you got to use them wisely. You know what I mean? You don't have one every rack. That way you don't abuse the situation, you see? See, if you give a person a timeout every rack, they just abuse it. That's all they do. It should be like football. You got four timeouts per half. And you got to utilize them. You got to utilize them wisely. I was watching a football game earlier tonight, and they lost the game. Dallas lost the game because they used their timeouts in the wrong part of the game. So they lost the game. That cost them the game because they needed it. They had a chance to win, but they couldn't stop the clock at the end. Same thing applies here in pool. You should get four timeouts per match and use them carefully. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Earl. And that was Sam's on the Case with azbilliards.com, brought to you by PoolDog.com. Take care.